no one fucks with the Donner family. If you're not up there in five minutes, me, the rest of the Donner boys, we're gonna have to sort you out. You'd ask your friend Tony why his face is messed up. What does Tony have to do with anything? Did he tell you what happened? Did he tell you what happened? He said he fell down some steps. What the hell does he have to do with anything? I saw him out back with Patricia when I got here. Out in the cemetery? What are you trying to say? Tony has a thing for Patricia. Are you nuts? I saw it with my own eyes. He had a pen over a tombstone and she wasn't even objecting to it. That is bullshit. Ask him. Make sure you ask him in front of Patricia. If you know your friend as well as you think you do, you know if he's lying. If you know your sister, you know if she's telling the truth. Tell you what, if you're not satisfied with that, I'll be happy to take on all the fucking donor boys. Morning, I come from where I had surgery. I have one of my patients here. She's requiring a consultation for the court counseling. Is there no sooner dates? She scored 54. That's not good enough. I need a date next week at the latest. That's perfect, thank you. This Thursday, the 19th, 10 a.m., they'll be ringing you for a consultation over the phone. Is that okay? That's perfect, thank you. Hey, not at all, Anna. And thanks for coming in today. This is about what happened at the motel. What happened at the motel? You don't know? I'll tell you. I was working security by Wisconsin, and on Tuesday night, we heard a lot of gunfire coming from the area near the Algiers in that direction. Police was there, state police, National Guard. There was a lot of shooting. Sure. And when I went in there, three kids had been killed. No. This right there, is that what you're talking about? They were lying there just like that. The blood was fresh, it hadn't congealed yet. So they were killed right before you got there? Yes, sir. You carry a 38? A revolver. Do you carry a revolver? I do have a 38. You ever shoot anyone? No. Strike anyone? Not, not the way you mean. So you're serious? You're really gonna quit? The life? Most definitely. So if you quit a life, what will you do? That's what I've been sitting here contemplating. First, I'm gonna deliver this case to Marcellus. Then, basically, I'm just walk the earth. What you mean, walk the earth? You know, like Kane and Kung Fu, just walk from town to town, meet people, get in adventures. And how long you intend to walk the earth? Until God puts me where he wants me to be. What if God never does? If it takes forever, I'll walk forever. So you decide to be a bum? No. Oh. I'll just be Jules, Vincent. No more, no less. No, Jules. You're gonna be like one of those pieces of shit out there who go around begging for change. They walk around like a bunch of fucking zombies. They sleep in garbage bins. They eat what I throw away and dogs pissing them. We got a word for them. They're called bums. And without a job, residence, or legal tender, that's what you're gonna be. A fucking bum. Look, my friend. This is just where you and I differ. Okay. What happened was peculiar. No doubt about it. But it was not water to wine. All shapes and sizes, Vince. Stop fucking talking like that. If you find my answers to be frightening, Vincent, you should cease asking scary questions. So when did you make this this decision? While you were sitting there eating your muffin? Yeah. I was just sitting here drinking my coffee, eating my muffin, playing the incident through my head, when I had what alcoholics refer to it as a moment of clarity. I gotta take a shit. But to be continued. <laughs>